Caleb. I'll show you. He is a lion head rabbit. As some of you know, I do have two. I have one who is a dwarf and Caleb. Um, Leah's in the back there wondering when her man is coming back. Hey everybody, and we're back with another video. Don't forget, if you like this video, to like, comment, and subscribe so that I can continue to put out content that you and your family enjoy. So today I'm doing something that is way overdue. Um, I do have two buns here. I have my two lion heads, one which is a dwarf. So I have Leah and I also have Caleb. Um, they will come out a little bit later. They are not happy to be in front of this light right now. All right, so today we're gonna be doing a video about the pros and cons of owning a rabbit. Now, before I go through any of this, I do wanna make a disclaimer that any animal that you get, it doesn't matter which one you're into, could be reptiles, could be birds, cats, dogs, whatever, unless you are ready for the full responsibility of that species or breed, please do not commit to an animal. All right, so now, with that being said, Let's get it started. I'm gonna be alternating between pros and cons just so you don't start feeling too negative and you also don't start feeling too overjoyed too quickly. All right, um, so the first thing that I will say as a rabbit owner is a con would be shedding. Dun, 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 shedding, okay? If you don't like shedding, rabbits are not for you. One, because it doesn't just have to be warm for rabbits to shed, sometimes they just shed. Um, and in the summertime, if you do have a longer haired rabbit like so, um, it's gonna be double shedding, double cleaning up for you. Um, so I would definitely describe that as a con. All right, next thing. Now I do have everything written here, so if I veer off, don't worry about it, my attention's still on you. All right, a pro would have to be, now this kind of borders between pro and con, depending on the type of person you are and what you're looking for out of your animals. Um, so a pro for me is that they don't bark and they don't make a lot of noise. Now, rabbits do make noise, besides popular belief that they are completely quiet animals, that's not true. They grunt, they thump, they buzz, um, they scream, occasionally they make this kind of a moaning sound almost um, just depending on how they're feeling um, but they don't make a lot of noise so if you're looking for something that is going to be super overprotective aka when someone's knocking on the door or they're realizing a change in what's happening yes your rabbit will respond but they won't make lots of noise they will run around though so be um, cautious about that all right another con would have to be health care now, most people that have had rabbits or that I've interacted with have gotten their rabbits um, or their very first rabbit from a pet store. Pet stores do not fully educate you on how to own a rabbit, okay? They tell you just throw them in a cage, feed them some pellets, and it's all good. Not true, um, it's actually the opposite. Um, the first thing that is I would say is a negative about healthcare is that most people with a veterinarian degree um, do not go over or do not continue to study rabbit care or small animal care. Um, they're hip to things like cats and dogs. So when your bunny's not feeling good, um, it's a very limited amount of places you can actually go to. So that's definitely a con for me. All right, um, so a pro. So one pro for me would have to be going along with their diet, um, that they are plant-based diet animals. Now, this is a pro, one, because you can share food with animals, or if you, let's say you have other animals that don't eat meat, you can share food. So for instance, I have a product called ProBios, um, and I will put the link below. Um, it actually is a horse product, but it can be used for rabbits as well, and it just helps keep their digestive system in track. Um, intact sorry all right <laughs> um, also greens vegetables if you shop locally at a farmers market you can get these things for dirt cheap like um, bundles of parsley cost me maybe 20 cents 
to 27 cents, just depending on where you get them from. Cilantro, the same thing. Bok choy, about the same thing. They're about 79 cents a pound. So these things are super cheap. Um, and also most of their diet, most of their diet is gonna be hay anyway. Um, so you can get the hay as, in bales. Um, and like I said, if you have other animals, horses eat hay, you know, other things like that. Now I keep mentioning horses because I have horses. So feel free to name the other animals below that also eat hay. Um, so that's that. Uh, what else? Another con, ooh, this is a big one that actually sometimes frustrates me. Oh my God. They are easily frightened. Now, blah, 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 in the wild, we all know animals are, uh, bunnies are prey animals. Um, so they're constantly aware of other predators. Um, sometimes that predator is you, or the vacuum, or a pillow, or your shadow, or your friends and family. Um, it really just depends. Now, I do have one bunny, his name is Dream. He's unneutered. That plays a big part in his confidence. Now I do, these rabbits were um, from the shelter and they were rescues, so they had to neuter them. Um, but I definitely think neutering your rabbit or spaying your rabbit does change the confidence of the rabbit a little bit. Now, some of you may disagree. I can only go based off of my personal experience, but they're easily frightened and that makes it hard to have family gatherings. That makes it hard to introduce new smells, new appliances, anything that you're going to be using around them. You have to be very careful to introduce it slowly. Okay, uh, a positive. Oh, you can turn anything into a bunny toy, okay? This has to be a big positive for me because you save so much money this way. Toilet tissue gone out, make a rabbit toy. Paper towel gone out, make a rabbit toy. Extra boxes for moving, make a rabbit hut. Uh, you know, a hidey house, whatever. They are so easy to please in that sense. And also, um, since this is a family um, friendly page, for those of you watching that have young children, rabbits and babies love the same type of toys. Bells, whistles, any of those small little rolly balls that your babies love, your bun loves will love as well. Um, con, it's harder to gain trust um, with a rabbit. Now for me, this is a pro just because I'm competitive. Yes, I said it. It's true. Um, I'm competitive and I feel like once you give me a challenge, I'm like, oh, oh, oh okay. Challenge accepted. For some people, it's the total opposite. A lot of things that I realize people love about dogs is their willingness to give affection, not knowing the situation, not knowing the person, never having been there. Um, and that's admirable in a pet for some people. For me, I actually like that it takes a while for a bunny to trust you because I feel like you have to be there. You have to be interactive. You have to be taking care of them. They have to feel comfortable. And in reward, they give you their affection and their trust. And they kind of can also even tell you when the person you're hanging around just ain't it, honey. Okay? If my bunnies don't come around, you got to go. All right. The next thing would be a pro. Ooh. Hmm. On my list, okay, I have pooping or shitting or whatever. To me, that's a pro. Now everything poops, but how bunnies poop, I love that. Okay, they are laid out in here. Let's see if I can show you, Leah. Okay, here's Lily. Now, Lily's poops are super little. They don't bother me at all. But the reason why I put bunny poop as a pro is because if your bunny is fully healthy, now they do have something called sequels that are, their little poops are clustered together almost like grapes. Um, that is their body's way of feeding out all the things that are too rich. They go back later and they eat them for more nutritional value. Um, okay, back to topic though. The reason why it's a positive for me is because if they're all healthy and everything's running right, they come out as these little tiny pellets. Once the pellets come out and are exposed to air for a few minutes, one, they harden, so it's super easy to clean up. 
If you're gonna vacuum them, that's the easiest way. If you're gonna sweep them, they're just little balls running around, just get them, but they usually don't smush into the ground. They don't smell really bad. That's a big thing. I love dogs, but their shit is like, whoa, dude, what have you been eating? So I definitely would put bunny poops as positive. Just saying, it's easier to clean. All right, a con. They do not do well in the heat. Now, I'm a summer thotty, okay? As soon as it goes to 60 degrees, you can catch me in the booty shorts and the summer dresses. I love being outside, I love hiking, I love all of that stuff. But if I want my bunnies to enjoy the time as well, I have to do my activities a little bit later in the evening as the sun is gonna set so that they can enjoy it and they're not dying of a freaking heat stroke when we go outside. So that is kind of a con for me. I do love dogs and horses for that reason. You can work them, you can be out there having fun even in the heat. Unfortunately, it's not the same for bunnies, but in the winter time, you have little loaves to cuddle. So that's that. Um, what's another thing? Oh, let's do another con, just because, okay? Now, things that are cons, yeah, you can say they're bad, but if you love something and it makes you happy, you're gonna take what it comes with, okay? The neutering and the spaying, I do believe in neutering. Spaying rabbits, I get it because they reproduce like crazy. But I haven't neutered Dream just because I feel like it takes away, it's gonna take away his manhood, you know, what he's about. Now I do plan on giving him a little action before, you know, to keep him healthy, but anyway. So another con would have to be walking on the harness. Now, that kind of goes hand in hand with being outside, being easily frightened. All of these things tie into one another. <sighs> Bunnies and harnesses. If you know somebody, know somebody, know somebody. Now, I do everything with my rabbits, okay? Everything. But walking these is on a harness. You might as well drag their ass. There's no point. So, I actually bought a stroller, and I will put the link um, below for you guys as well, because this stroller was only $20, and it is a pet stroller. Okay, honey? So, if you're living in Georgia, we got a hookup for you. So, that's that. That is that. That was it. All right, guys, well, it looks like that was everything on my list. Let me give you guys a chance to kind of see these two rabbits. My next video will feature some other rabbits. Um, in my picnic video, you saw the three Rex Dutch rabbits. Um, well, Mr. is a giant checkered rabbit, but we'll get into breeds. If you would like to see a video in the future of me going over different rabbit breeds, such as the ones that I have and other ones and telling you the differences in personality, health care and things like that of each breed. I'll be happy to do that for you guys. All right, so we'll see Leah one more time. Baby's the smaller bun bun. So here's Lily. Like I said, she is a dwarf lion head rabbit. And then we have her forever love. Oh, he's chunky. Oh, I love him chunky. And here's Caleb. And I think we're out, right? We out. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. See you later. <laughs>